So hello friends. So today we are solving another Python related coding question. It is of Ninja to digital level. So basically this kind of question coming digital level, uh, digital level test of TCS, and also in when you are switching from Ninja to digital grade. So let's see the question. So let's go on. Uh, notepad. So here is the question. Hundred is the input for that particular input. We have output for four fifty five. If ten is the input, we have the output twenty five. If five is the input, then we have the output fifteen. So how we are getting? This particular output for that particular number. So let's understand that part. So for hundred, we are getting four five five four five five because four into five into five is hundred. So we are selecting numbers, smallest numbers which can help us through which we can get hundred. So for first number, first smallest number which can help to get hundred is four. Then second smallest number is five, and then third smallest number is again five, which help us to get hundred when we multiply all three numbers. Similarly with ten, two smallest number which can help us to lead to ten is two and five. So two into five is ten. Similarly with five. So Uh, to get uh, to reach five, the numbers we require one and five, and one in one into five is fifteen. I hope you are able to understand how we are getting input from output. So how? So what is the logic we are going to use here? Let's talk about that. So we are going to use iteration, and iteration uh, is done in an opposite way. So first of all, uh, uh, how how much long iteration we need to do? We are going to go for nine to two. So we have to choose number between nine to two. We are going to neglect one and two digit numbers, ten, eleven, twelve. We are not going to choose it because all the numbers which we uh, need to pick are come in nine to two. So now. If we are talk about hundred, how we will we will choose the numbers four five five. So let's talk about why we are getting four five five four hundred. So let's see that three numbers four five five is completely dividing the hundred. Complete so four five five is completely dividing the hundred. So always remember the trick. If we want to get the scenario of multiplying the smallest number to get that particular number, that smallest number should uh, divide that particular number uh, 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 divide that particular number to get zero. So four can four divide hundred. And give us zero. Five divide hundred, give us zero. Five divide hundred, give us zero. So it is completely divisible. Hundred is completely divisible by these three numbers. Similarly, in case of two five, is completely divisible divisible by ten. Two and five is completely divisible by ten. One and five is completely dividing the five. So this is the scenario. So we are going to iterate from nine to two and pick those number which is which 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 is going to completely divide that particular number that pass as input like hundred. So let's talk about hundred. How we are going to. Uh, Choose those numbers. If we start iteration from nine to two for hundred, so first number from nine nine to if we go through two, first number which completely divide hundred is five. So first number is five. We are going to append that number, and then we have to we are going to reduce hundred value. How we going to reduce that hundred value? We going to divide hundred by five. So hundred divided by five is twenty. So new x new x value is twenty. Initial x value is hundred. So when we appended one number, then we have to decrease the x value. How we can decrease that particular x value? The number which we appended, that number is going to divide that particular number. So 100 divided by 5, 20. So next x is 20. Then we will check for 20. Okay. Then we check for 20. And our uh, last number, we uh, last i value we reached in previous iteration is 5. So we again check 20 for for 5. So now 20 modulus 5 is also is equal to equal to 0. So 5 is dividing 20 completely. So again the 5 is appending in the in the uh, in that particular list which is storing all those numbers which is completely dividing 100. So five is appending. Five is appending. Then, if then when the five is appending, then we need to reduce the value of x. And the last x value is twenty. So twenty divided by five again, which gives us four. So now when we check that four is completely divisible five by five, so no, it is not completely divisible by five. So we are now decreasing the iteration five to four. Now we are checking for four. So four is completely divide, divide, uh, dividing the four, uh, and it uh, going to print uh, give us zero. So four is appending in the same list in which five and five is appending. Now if we reduce the value of x. Next, last uh, value of x is four. Now, if we divide four by four, it is going to give us one. So, when we get one, then we don't need to do further uh, further uh, iterations. So, I hope you are able to understand this particular case. How we get the numbers five, five, four in our list? Then we are going to uh, reverse the list, and we are going to get our numbers four, five, five. So, four, five, five is our output. So, by reversing the list, we get our output four, five, five. And this number is the actual output here. I hope you are able to understand it. Let's code. So I will code fast for this particular problem. First of all, x is equal to 100. We are doing it for 100. For i in range int input. For i in range, sorry, sorry. For i in range, 9 comma 1 comma minus 1 for reverse iteration. So now while x modulus i Is equal to equal to zero. Then what we we need to do? We have to append in L, which is I. 
let's create l here now what we need to do we have to reduce the value of x x is equal to x divided by i then we what we need to do uh, control z x divided by i then what we need to do l is going, uh, let's check for how many uh, numbers we get in l print l i hope so you can see that we are getting the number the way i am telling you the sequence is same first five is appending then second five is appending then four is appending now we have to uh, now we have to uh, what we need to do we we need to reverse the values so how to do that so <clears throat> first of all i'm going to create j is equal to l slicing uh, minus one let's print j print j this is one of my trick to get in reverse so now you can see that four five five now what we need to do i need a variable s so that i can combine it properly s is equal to uh, four i in j s is equal to s plus str i str i now print now i'm going to print s in int type print s so now print s have you are able to understand it i'm doing it fast if you have any confusion you can text me in the comment so okay okay i have to put plus here s shift plus here is plus so now run it again now you can see that we are getting generating an output 455 so I, my code is still not complete consider the case if the number is smaller than 10 then this code is not going to work so if we talk about numbers which is smaller than 10 uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 9 so what should be the value how to get uh, how to get how to get 1 if using two numbers also, there is a condition that this number should be greater than 1. This number should be greater than 1. So, how to get one number uh, using two numbers? 11, 11. So, 1 into 1, 1. 2 get by 12. 1 to 2, 2. 3 will uh, need to be get by 1, 3. 4 will be get by 1, 4. You can't use 2, 2, 4, 4. Remember that part. 4 is equal to 2, 2. 2 into 2 is also 4. Remember. 2 into 2 is also 4. But this is greater than 1. We are getting 4 with 14 containing smaller number. 22. Is containing bigger number as compared to 14 so, so we are choosing 1 4 instead of 2 2 that's why i'm saying we need to get smaller numbers to get that particular number we need smaller number multiplication combine multiplication multiplication to get that particular number for 5 we need 15 for 6 we need 16 for 7 we need 70 for 8 we need 18 for 9 we need 19. so i hope this is how we need to get from uh, we need to get that particular number for 1 to 9 so how will we get so i will going to put a simple scenario if x is greater than 9 then this will be fine. These loops will work. I don't have issue if they will work. Okay. Okay. I don't have issue if x is greater than 9. But if else x is less than 9. x is greater than 9. If else x is less than 9, then what should we do? Then we have to print x plus 10 simple we need to print this let's check for 9 let's check for like here, here let's take user input int input so i use directly input that's because i don't want to do or i don't want to pass input again and again in console it's sometimes quite annoying so now when my co code is complete then i use this this is one of the best way if you are coding so for 9 the answer should be 19 our code is working fine for 5 answer should be 15 okay so run four five hundred answer should be four five 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 four five to twenty so four into five is twenty twenty into five hundred hundred into five five hundred i hope you are understanding that our code is fine for any number now it is working fine okay there is no issue i think uh, i think our uh, code is complete completely done here all the test scenarios are running on this particular code i know this is a bit tough to understand but if you give if you patiently listen listen what i'm trying to say then you are able to uh, get you are able to understand this code easily so thank you for your patient listening happy learning also also there is one scenario left i will complete that particular scenario too uh, the scenario was if that number does not have the smallest number that can lead to that particular number so how to explain that part let's 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 consider 11 11 17 are those numbers whom which literally don't have those smallest number that can lead the, the multiplication their multiplication uh, lead to 11 so if we go from 1 to 9 uh, 2 to 9 
there is no any such number that can lead to 11 okay if we take one and one then one into one is one it can't take two as 11. so those number for those particular number we will uh, for those particular number this value never be one so for that particular scenario we will print uh not possible scenario not possible for that particular scenario we, we are going to print not possible so for that what do we need to do so we we are going to uh, we are going to check where is we printing uh here here we are printing so we are only going to print uh, uh all the number which is smaller than n are possible after th this scenario is only occur in this uh, case uh, only occur in the case uh, case of uh, two digit number or three digit number so we will put here if x is equal to equal to one then this scenario works tab 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 else print not possible not possible so let's check this code for 11 and 17 it should be print not possible 11 not possible for 17 it should print again not possible not possible for 15 what it should be for 15 i think so it should be 3 and 5 for 15 it should be 3 and 5 so now now the code is complete thank you i will uh, i will combine this clip with the total video